What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the Discord app on your mobile device. Discord is a messaging and voice chat app that lets people create or join communities centered around specific interests. These communities are hosted in what are called servers. Servers are essentially private spaces where you and others can hang out, chat and share content. Each server can have various text and voice channels to keep conversations organized. When you first join a server, you see the channels listed on the left-hand side of your screen. Channels are divided into two main types, text channels and voice channels. Text channels are where you type messages, share links and upload images or videos. Voice channels allow you to hop into real-time voice or video chats with other users. To join a conversation in a text channel, simply tap on a channel name to open it. From there, you can start reading the messages and type your responses in the chat bar at the bottom of the screen. You can format your text using shortcuts like adding bold or italics. You can also react to messages by tapping the emoji icon under any message and selecting an emoji. If you need to mention someone directly in a conversation, you can type at followed by their username and they get a notification. To upload files or images, tap the plus icon next to the search bar and choose the file or media you want to share. Voice channels on Discord are a great way to have live conversations with your friends or server members. To join the voice channel, just tap on it and you'll automatically enter the chat. You'll know you're speaking because a colored outline will appear around your profile picture whenever you talk. If you want to mute or unmute yourself, just tap the microphone icon at the bottom of the screen. You can also adjust the volume for individual users by tapping on a profile and moving the volume slider. If you want to enable video, simply tap the video icon and your camera will turn on, allowing others to see you. Now, let's talk about how you can customize your Discord profile. First, tap on your avatar in the bottom right corner of the screen. From here, you can edit your username, avatar and status. Setting a custom status lets others know what you're up to. To add a status, simply tap on set status and begin typing. You can also set the duration for how long your status can remain. You have options ranging from clear tomorrow to don't clear. If you want to take your Discord experience to the next level, you can use its video call and screen sharing features. To start a video call, just join a voice channel and tap the video icon in the bottom left corner. This will activate your camera, allowing others in the channel to see you. Screen sharing works similarly. Just tap the screen icon in the voice channel and select whether you want to share your entire screen or just a specific app. This is great for showing off a project, a game or anything else you want your friends or community to see. Discord also lets you watch streams or participate in screen shares. If you see someone sharing their screen, a live icon will appear next to their username in the voice channel. Tap on their name to join their screen. You can even adjust the volume of the stream or change the window size to suit your preference. One of the fun ways to personalize your Discord experience is by using custom emojis. These are server-specific emojis that can be anything from inside jokes to special graphics unique to your community. To create custom emojis, you'll need the Manage Emojis permission on the server. If you are the server owner, you have this by default. To upload an emoji, go to your server settings. Navigate to the Emoji tab and upload the image you want to turn into an emoji. Keep in mind that simple designs and transparent backgrounds work best for emojis. For server owners and moderators, Discord provides a range of tools for managing permissions and keeping things running smoothly. You can control your server settings by tapping your server name and selecting settings from the pop-up menu. Additionally, you can use AutoMod to block certain phrases or words from appearing in status messages. And all status changes will be logged in the audit log for tracking purposes. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.